Hi, my name is Mark Flint. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the Mysore back there. Um, as you can see, we've got two different slopes on the back there. We've got a gentle slope at this side, and we've got more of a steep slope at this side. The reason is, if we work with a gentle slope, we're going to work on the upper back and opening the chest, along with the arms. And if we work on the steep side, we're going to actually work on the lower lumbar and thoracic. You see we've got two legs that just fit into the slots, providing stability. And I'll come round into position, I'll place the base of my spine against the back bender, I'm just going to hold the feet, and I'm going to exhale back. Now I'm in a nice passive position, I can raise my hands to my chest, going into a deeper stretch, raise my hands up into the ceiling and take them back and feel a nice stretch here underneath my arms. I'm getting a beautiful stretch in my upper chest and I'm also working on the upper back. I turn it round and I use it on the steep slope, same principle, hold it to the base of my spine and slowly exhale back into position and there. Again I can raise my arms and take my arms back. I can also put my hands into position, go into the holes and increase the depth of the stretch. Inhale up, after a back bend, always come into a forward bend and come back out. It's good for our patients, it's good for basic people with lung problems, and it's also a great accessory to open your back bends. A passive way to open the back bends, a nice, slow, easy opening is the way to keep the back bend safe and a long lasting stretch. Safe going in safe going out. We're supported in, we're supported out. Nice old backbender for the nice, easy, safe way of backbending.